Okay, question 11. Question 11 has got lots and lots of words. Um, the maths underneath is not that complicated, but it's a question of reading the words, knowing what's going on, trying to organise yourself. So I think the best thing to do in that situation is to try and draw a picture of what's going on. So there are some boys and girls at a bus stop, so let's just draw a sketch. Bus stop. Boys on the left. Girls on the right. And a bus comes along and 11 girls get on the first bus. So we're going to lose 11 from the bus stop if we go on the first bus. Then we read the number of boys and girls at the bus stop is now the same. So we can put that in a ratio 1 to 1. Even boys and girls. And then a second bus comes along and 16 boys get on. So this side we lose 16 boys. The ratio of the number of boys to the number of girls at the bus stop is now 1 to 3, so this ratio has changed to 1 to 3. How many girls were at the bus stop to start with? So we need to work it backwards. OK, looking at the ratios, uh, 1 to 3 at the end, 1 to 1 at the start. If we say the ratio 1 to 1 is the same as the ratio 3 to 3, that's the same equivalent ratio, then 16 boys must have been two parts because we've lost two parts on the boys. So each part must be 8. So there must have been 24 boys here and 24 girls there. Before they left there must have been 11 more girls so that must mean the girls at the start 35. How many girls were at the bus stop to start? I think 35 is the correct answer.